530 some minutes to so this is it So, and look. So let me see. This kind of, that is how it looks like. So guys, washing it. This is how the water is going to be like. So I'm going to wash it out of the water now. I'll make sure that there's no more foaming like this. This is the evidence that. The bitter taste of it is coming out. So let me keep watching then when I'm done, I'll get back to you guys. I actually forget to add one more ingredient, which is the part of the main ingredient, and that is egg. So I'm going to show you guys about the egg that I'll be using. So this is the egg I will be using. So basically, this is it. This is the bitter leaf plus the egg, the other fish, the pomo the pomo, the smoke fish and the pepper so these are all the ingredients i'll be using for my bitter leaf but this one i still want to add some hot water to it because it is already dried before i start washing it so it's going to it's a little bit bitter like i don't want to i don't want to really stress myself with it so i'll have to have some hot water to eat so that is what i'm going to do right now and for my egg i always love it to be like a base like to form like a ball i don't know if i'll be able to finish this on time because it's really getting dark uh but um, this is basically it for now so i'm going to add a little water to my egg to form a paste so that i can throw it 
inside the uh, soup like like a ball I want it to form a ball if you want it to form a paste you can either add water to it or you will add um, you will mix it with blended onion so that it can come out well but since I don't have time for that right now I'm just going to mix it with water so this is how it's going to be like is boiled for for the Italy. So my exit paste is ready. Ready. So let's start cooking proper. So first and first rinse my course place it on the stove. This and you see bitter leaf soup is actually going to go down with semo bitter semolina. I make do with semolina, so you know that's what the brand I eat, not semo bitter, I eat semolina. So let's start with the palm oil. So, first and first. so what I will do first is to you know. Allow the pepper to fry a little bit, and uh, I don't know why I'm forgetting the ingredients. I'm also going to be having some cubes, some seasonings. I don't know if I should have time and curry. I might have it. Let's see how this goes. So I'm adding some seasoning to it as well. So right now, let me add my red oil. What is so deep that see that is my red oil it's getting dark in here my to all I did my three eyes the stream light so right now let me kill my seasoning and this thing is going to pull through tonight it's gonna pull through tonight tonight So my oil is frying, so right now I'm going to add my, let me just off it, so that that noise won't be much because it's not. So this is zero. Let me just quickly add it to the picture of this. Maybe I'm going to include it as a thumbnail. So let me quickly add it. And another one is local beans fish. So that is all the ingredients. So right now the iru will be going inside the pot. The local beans will be going in. My pot is deep. So the iru will be going inside the pot right now. So the locust beans is actually dried. It's a dry one, and uh, so that you have a feel of what is cooking. So I just have to take it. Uh, I just have to use the torch light so that you guys can see <laughs> the food light so that you guys can see. I'm just showing you the the real thing, the reality of what we go through in Nigeria. The reality. Like real life stuff, that is what I'm telling you guys right now. So I'm going, I'm just going to take it at my phone so that we can sort it quickly. So all the combo is inside. Then the next one will be the fish, the small, small fish. That one to quickly go inside right now. For the fish, I'm not really a fan of curry, but I'm just going to have a little bit of curry inside of it. Just tiny bit 
So right now the fish is going in inside the pot. So all the fish in the pot is really really getting dark, really really getting dark. So next is the bitter leaf. I'm going to add the bitter leaf inside it and allow it to be cooking on it so I'm adding a little water so that it can cook properly okay so guys this is how our soup is cooking if you guys can see I'm trying to do all in the camera and everything at once So this is it before the egg will we'll come in and the main fish is yet to come in as well so this is my bitter leaf and uh, for more the other fish at guys right now i'm going to be handing my you see little by little like a bowl like this and you see mind yourself so guys this is how the egg is going to stay in and i'll allow it to cook so that it can form a bowl before i will stir them together so, it's, so that everybody can see what i'm cooking tonight so that is it so you can see it's really really getting dark in here like really really getting dark in here i'm using torch to feel the magic <laughs> as lightning like using touch like I'm using touch light as my lightning imagine touch light that is it that is it so let me cover the pot up cover the pot up right now and then when the is cooked I will get back to it so the remaining one in the plate I'm just going to add some water to it and wash it inside of it so that the egg is going to be inside of it. You know? The egg will see what that can be inside of it. Alright. So that you can have the real fish inside of it like that. Like that. Like there is no space for the fish. I'm just going to remove three. Okay, so that these ones can sit in very well. Sitting. Sitting, sitting, sitting. Doesn't really look like all those chefs, so. But we're not ready for it. I don't want to regret it to be playing on it. That is why. So, is it that the pot is small? I don't even know. So, this is shy. It. <laughs> Let me mix it together to make it look enticing. So, guys, this is the final making of our bitter leaf MC soup. This is it. This is it. You can see it's still cooking. Like I don't want to show my face because everywhere is just dark in here. Like everywhere is dark in here. Using for the evil ring light will not even work in this in this situation. So I just have to be using torch, 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 torch light for my face. So that is it. 
tonight. So I'm just going to make semo and eat it with it. I don't know if I'm going to film the semo, but that is it for now. If in case I'm going to stop it here because there is no light. So if you enjoy what is it, kindly give this video a thumbs up. I know some people will be wondering why am I filming in the night is because in Nigeria, mostly as in most homes, when this is the time we do our cooking and this is the time like this is the time we do our, our dinner, like this is the time we do our cooking, like when everybody is back from work, so that the food will still be fresh, like enticing to eat. So that is why but here in my own area there is no light like Lagos like living in Lagos living in Niger there is no light so that is why it's like this for me so imagine if I put on the chair right now the noise that will be coming in me into this uh, video you people will, will not even like it at all so that is why it has to come like this so guys if you enjoy what you see can you give this video a thumbs up and you know, like share whatever and so this is my life to be like after going through stress and everything after two days right now the time is seven uh, six fifty three and this video is coming out tonight so guys just watch out for it like i'll see you guys when i'm eating or maybe tomorrow so in another vlog class so guys thank you for watching thank you for watching guys i really appreciate you guys and i will see you tomorrow like tomorrow you can see i'm actually okay like I'm actually feeling good, like, I'm okay, like, I'm not stressed, I'm not stressed, like, feeling, food is ready, that's why, <laughs> food is ready, like, I'm ready to eat, like, 